No matter how you slice it, a comma means cut it off. Our modern day comma got its start with the Greek playwrights in about 200 BC. You remember the Greek plays? They were performed in outdoor theaters by male actors who wore masks and costumes to play all the parts. The Greek playwrights devised a system of notation to tell an actor when to cut off his speech and take a breath. The notation that indicated only a short segment of dialogue would follow a breath was called a comma. In Greek, the word comma meant segment or clause. The Greeks got their word comma from the Romans, from a Latin verb that means to cut. Sometime during the next 500 to 700 years, the scribes who translated the Bible began to use punctuation. And bingo! Our tadpole little comma began to tell readers which segments of text could be cut off. A comma tells readers of the English language what words can be cut off of or out of a sentence. A comma marks the words that are not essential to the meaning of the sentence. Take a look. Chris Johnson, who drives a green car, won the prize. Chris Johnson is the subject of the sentence. One is the predicate or the verb. The prize is called the direct object. That's what Chris won. The clause, who drives a green car, describes Chris Johnson. But the clause is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. The clause is set off by a pair of commas. That means we can chop, chop, snip, snip, at each end of the clause. We can cut the clause, who drives a green car, from the sentence. The clause is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. Think of commas used at either end of a group of words as tweezer commas. Each comma is like a prong on a pair of tweezers. The words between the commas can be tweezed from the sentence and the sentence is still complete. Chris Johnson, who drives a green car, won the prize, becomes Chris Johnson won the prize. Concise and precise. Let's look at another example of how a comma tells the reader to cut it off. Jordan ran faster than her teammates, which made her mother proud. Jordan ran faster than her teammates is a complete sentence, which made her mother proud is a clause. But the clause is not essential to the complete sentence, Jordan ran faster than her teammates. When you set off words with a comma or commas, you're telling readers that the words can be cut off, that they're not essential to the meaning of the sentence. The comma is small but mighty. A comma in the wrong place can be a dangerous thing. Let's take a look. Here is the text of a letter that Maria wrote to Thomas. Read the letter without punctuation. You decide if Maria and Thomas are still a couple. Well, do you think that Maria and Thomas are still a couple? Let's ask Maria. Hi, Maria. Will you read us the letter that you wrote to Thomas? I'd be glad to. Dear Thomas, I want a man who knows what love is. All about you are generous, kind, thoughtful people who are not like you. Admit to being useless and inferior. You have ruined me. For other men, I yearn. For you, I have no feelings whatsoever. When we're apart, I can be forever happy. Will you let me be yours, Maria? Thanks, Maria. Sorry to hear you and Thomas called it quits. Yes, initially my letter to Thomas was a love letter. Just before I sent the letter, I learned Thomas had a secret life that didn't include me. Ouch, Maria. That must have hurt. Yes, it convinced me that I needed to cut him off. So I used the powerful comma to turn my love letter into a Dear John letter. May I show you? Absolutely, Maria. Please read your love letter. Dear Thomas, I want a man who knows what love is all about. You are generous, kind, thoughtful, 
People who are not like you admit to being useless and inferior. You have ruined me for other men. I yearn for you. I have no feelings whatsoever when we're apart. I can be forever happy. Will you let me be yours? Maria. Your letters demonstrate the power of punctuation. Thanks. May I share one more tip? It's something a teacher said to me several years ago. Commas are not confetti. A writer must not throw commas into the air and let them land helter-skelter all over the document. Cut. Yes, that's right. A comma marks non-essential words that can be cut from the sentence. It's a rule. Commas rule.